Hey guys, Scrubrick here, and thanks for joining me back for another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a new dashboard that Twitch has added for mods. This is called Mod View. They go to tweet, channel moderators, we're giving you a new way to keep your sword sharp. Introducing Mod View, a highly customizable page designed to help you do what you do best. Use Mod View to meet the demands of your growing channels you moderate. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down in the description below for the full article on this so you guys can get a little more in depth. But in today's video, we're just going to be touching some highlights and show you how to actually use the functionality of mod view for your streams. That way you can be the best moderator possible. We're going to use my friend Ronnie Radke's Twitch channel here. He's the only one live that I moderate for. So what you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom of the chat and click that sword icon, which will bring you to your moderator view. This here is the dashboard that you can use. It's fully customizable, which I'll show you in just a little bit. But we're going to go over each of these from left to right, what all they do, and open the tabs and give you a little explanation on everything involved with it. This here is the session tab. This shows how long the stream has been live for and how many concurrent viewers are watching. The next tab is active mods. It shows what mods are active in the chat. So you know who you're working with. If a channel has like a ton of mods, it's kind of good for moderators to know what other mods they can depend on. The next one here is the activity. So this will show the followers, subscribers, donations, anything like that. And that is fully customizable. You can change that to be however you would like it to be. Um, if you only wanted to see follows or subs, you could definitely do that. And this one's just whispers, just normal whispers. So if you get a whisper, you can respond to it without ever having to leave the stream, which is very good for moderators who moderate on heavy, big channels. Down here, if you click this, it'll show other channels you follow. I don't have anyone else that I moderate for live right now. So if you did, you could actually use that to switch back and forth because unfortunately you can only have one channel open at a time. This is just showing you the functionality of moving stuff around. You can delete, save, anything like that. And down there at the bottom left, that's how you actually exit to go back to the normal Twitch layout. Here you can see the chat. If you go ahead and click on a person, you can go back and see any message that they've ever posted within the stream. Just in case you keep tabs on someone, if they've done something, you missed it, you could go back and look. You can time them out for 10 seconds, a minute, 10, 30 minutes, ban. You can report them. You can do a quick whisper, tell them to watch themselves, make sure you give them a warning, stuff like that. A little more unique so you don't have to leave the stream. You can see the stream at all times. Close that window down and then you will be able to see the channel actions. This is where you can change this from subscriber only chat, emote, follower, slow mode. You can look at the block terms, permitted terms, creator dashboard, review request queue, and review recent raids. We're not gonna be clicking into any of that because I don't find it all that necessary to go over that because most of you guys probably know what that's for. And that's basically all I have for you guys for mod view. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys have. And also give me ideas for future videos if you guys would like some more streaming help videos like this. Or if you'd like more in-depth videos on OBS itself, I'd be happy to do that. Also, I do live stream on Friday at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time on Twitch, twitch.tv slash scrubberg. Hope to see you guys in a future stream. If you can't make it, I do understand, but I hope to see you back for another video here on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video.